Species Center stage for Thursday, October 26, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Come along with me while we take our two adult Savu pythons, Liasis savuensis, on a visit to their veterinarians for intake exams because they haven't been with us too long. And during that intake exam, they get a physical exam, they get their heart checked, and they get their mouth swabbed for serpentovirus testing. Our veterinarian is Dr. Liza Pfaff, and she is joined by her amazing staff at Critter Care Animal Hospital in Centennial, Colorado. And we start with Mariner. She is our adult female, Liasis savuensis. This is a species of python found only on one island that's about 150 square miles and it is located between Australia and Indonesia and the Lesser Sunda Islands. This is an endangered species and Mariner was actually quite good for her exam. She only required minimal guidance during her physical exam and for being weighed and for having her heart listened to. And Dr. Pfaff, as she is handling Mariner and I'm assisting, is doing a great job of using considerate approach, gentle restraint, and a touch gradient, which we recently talked about in another video. She is listening to Mariner's heart using a Doppler machine, and it's a little bit more sensitive, and it's easier to listen to the snake's heart usually than a regular stethoscope. Boimler is our adult male Savu Python, and he was just a little bit more nervous and sensitive to what was happening than uh, Mariner was. They're both about six or seven years old. They're long-term captive wild-caught imports. Both had their mouths swabbed so that we could freeze those samples and send them off to the University of Florida for serpentovirus testing. They also both got microchip implants and they were a lot better about the microchip implant than the mouth swab. Snakes really don't like their faces and their mouths messed with. Despite traveling to the vet and being new to our home, Mariner was more than happy to eat that night that we got home. I paired the target with food. I just basically showed her the target and then presented the food. And she turned her face away, so I moved it to the other side of her. Had she turned away again, I would have stopped the session, but she didn't. I think I just initially startled her. Mariner got one-fifth of a tablet of Nexgard in her food, and that's a treatment for mites. The veterinarian did not find any mites on her, but there were mites reported at the expo where I got her. And we found one mite on Boimler, so they're both getting treated. After she ate, she promptly went into her humid hide and she's been there for several days since. So I'm not sure if she's going to shed or if this is something that she's normally gonna do when she's digesting. Please make sure to join me again next week for another species center stage where I'm gonna introduce you to our Australian olive python, Tendi. That is Liasis olivaceus. I'm very excited for you to meet her. So until then, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.